Marco Reus recently announced that he is leaving Borussia Dortmund upcoming summer after so many heartbreaking moments and not winning a single major trophy with his boyhood club. Is it fair? I don't think so. So I turned back time and made him 19 years old again, put him back to Borussia Mönchengladbach as his first club Rot by Salen is not in FC24, planning to return to Dortmund at some point, but for now, he is in Gladbach, 67 rated, with 88 potential, which is the exact rating of his highest rated base gold cards in FIFA's history. But I think he is not ready for the first Bundesliga for now, that's why we are going to loan list him. First offers we got from the second Bundesliga, from the clubs like Magdeburg, Elversberg, Wehen VS Baden, Eintracht Braunschweig, let's wait for a little bit more, maybe we can get an offer from somewhere else. Apparently it is only second Bundesliga clubs, this time it was Kaiser Slautern and Nuremberg, but in the end we decided to join Hansa Rostock. Marco Reus will be joining Hansa Rostock from Borussia Mönchengladbach on loan deal for two years. This is the Hansa Rostock team, they are running 3-5-2 formation, nothing special and we decided to play Marco Reus in the left flank, he will face a little bit less competition here. Also we got another loanee from Borussia Mönchengladbach, it is Armenian international Ranos. So let's simulate till the end of the season and see the results. With the help of Marco Reus, Hansa Rostock managed to get them promoted to Bundesliga with only 57 points, Bayern Munich win the German Cup as well as the Bundesliga, Leverkusen and Borussia Dortmund were second and third when Mühen Gladbach was only ninth in the league. And in terms of individual performances, Marco Reus had a stellar year with 12 goals and 10 assists in only 24 appearances. And also a good season from another Gladbach loanee, Ranos with 9 and 3. During 10 seasons we are going to track Marco Reus' stats, like scored goals and given assists, but the main goal is to win with Reus as many major trophies as possible. Marco Reus is already 73 rated and Borussia Mühen Gladbach decided to recall him back from his loan spell. They also made two major signings in the center of defense, Portuguese center back Diego Leite for 12 million euros and German center back Lucas Klostermann for 20 million euros. Here is the Borussia team where Marco Reus is not a guaranteed starter, Heck is also in this position, but I think he should get appropriate playtime this season. München Gladbach ended up 4th in the Bundesliga, Bayern Munich won the league again, German Cup goes to RB Leipzig and PSG wins the Champions League 3-1 against Napoli in the finals. Reus had a good season in the Bundesliga with 10 assists and 6 goals and he is already 78 rated. Marco Reus has already got himself 18 goals and 20 assists in 2 seasons, but no trophies or individual prizes yet. I guess we will spend one more year in Gladbach and let's see what will happen. Something went wrong this season for Borussia München Gladbach. They ended up 8th in the Bundesliga, out from the cup, dead last in the Champions League group, even with the signings of Angel Gomez for the center mid position for 25 million euros and the new goalkeeper Marcin Bulka for 20 million euros. Even the stars had a great season, Royce with 17 assists and 12 goals, as well as Ranos back from his loan with 19 goals. Royce was even the top assister of the Bundesliga. Royce is definitely too good for this München Gladbach side and we are transfer listing him. This is basically the rising superstar of the Bundesliga and we will definitely get good offers for him. But before that it is 2026 World Cup year and Royce is called up to the national team. They won the group with this, passed the Norway in the round of 16, they were eliminated from the Poland in the quarterfinals. So no World Cup for Royce yet. We got our first offer for Marco Royce from Union Berlin but we are going to reject it. And would you believe it, the second offer has come from Borussia Dortmund and definitely we are going to choose Borussia Dortmund as our our next destination. So it is done, Reus sold to Borussia Dortmund for 84 million euros, finally Marco Reus is back, back to his home. Borussia Dortmund is using gag and pressing as their tactical vision, just like Jürgen Klopp did, and of course it happened again, Bayern Munich stole our best player, 90 rated goalkeeper Gregor Kobel. Just like in real life, they continue to stole the best players from the other teams. To be fair, this time they paid almost 90 million euros for Kobel, and with that money we are going to find a goalkeeper replacement. So we signed Marco Carnesecchi for 40 million euros. We got a great team with Nunez up top, Royce and Adiemi in flanks, Julian Brandt as a cam. We are lacking a good fullback in right back position. Hopefully Range can step up this season. We have changed formation to 4-2-1-3 where we have the pole as an inverted position from CDI 
Adeyemi to center midfielder and Royce will be playing as left winger when Adeyemi will be playing as right winger. Overall, we got a very good squad. It didn't help us much because we are third in the Bundesliga. No German Cup for us. We were out from the Champions League in the quarterfinals, but we actually won the German Super Cup. First major silverware for Royce and he actually had a good year with 16 goals and 7 assists. Royce starts is looking good. He already won his first trophy with Borussia Dortmund, but this year we are expecting more. For signing of the season is Manuel Ugarte for 45 million euros. Also two backup players, Fabio Vieira and Kevin Shin Hartmann. And you can see Bayern is trying to sign Marco Royce. It's not gonna work. We are going to reject it. So let's simulate and see. And definitely this season will be more successful than previous one. But no, Leverkusen won the league by two points. It was a very close battle between Leverkusen, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern München. But this time again, Borussia is only second. No German Cup as well. And in the Champions League, Borussia Dortmund again were eliminated in the quarterfinals. This time from Manchester City. And Royce also had a slow season. Only 9 goals and 13 assists. This is what happened when you do not win trophies. Two of our starters, Nico Schlotterbeck and Darwin Nunes, rejected to prolong their contract and will be leaving us as a free agent. Instead of becoming stronger, we are getting weaker and weaker. Germany was terrible in Euros 2028, getting out from the group stages. Marco Royce has got himself already more than 100 goal contributions, but only one major trophy. So let's focus this season on winning the Bundesliga, which isn't gonna be easy. With only two center backs in the squad and 67 million budget. But we managed to sign Evan Andika for 25 million euros, Portuguese left winger David Costa for 17 million euros, and Brazilian center back Adrielson for 9 million euros for squad depth. And in January we are looking great, first in the Bundesliga with 14 wins and 2 draws. But wait a minute, Marco Royce got an injury and will be out for 5 more months. Hopefully this will not affect our results in the end of the season. But it has. We fell off hardly and we are only second with 69 points. We were so clear of Bayern Munich in January, but yet again we are second. German Cup goes to Bayer Leverkusen. And in the Champions League we were in the group with Inter and Arsenal. And we were only third with equal points but worse goal difference. And in the Europa League we lost to Nice 7-0. This is not good enough. Marco Reus had only 25 games, 11 goals and 11 assists. After that stinker of a season, we definitely need improvements in this Borussia Dortmund side. And we got 100 million euros budget for that. But again, we don't have any depth in center back position. So we have to sign more center backs. We start with Ted and Mengi for 10 million euros. Then we signed Castello Lukeba, 30 million euros for him. And for 35 million euros, we signed Usman Diomande. And quick update regarding academy prospects that we managed to find. Jeremy Fournier, 69 rated right winger with 91 potential and 71 rated center back Nils Vogt with 88 potential and right away Bayern München have come for him with 19 million euros offer we are going to reject it and they tried one more time to sign Marco Reus sorry Bayern not this time we made couple of changes in the starting 11 I know Gittens will be playing in left wing position the captain Marco Reus will be playing in camp position and Karim Adeyemi will attack from the right side there is a real chance for Borussia Dortmund to win the silverware this season. It is a cup final against Darmstadt. And yes, 1-0 victory for Borussia Dortmund. Marco Roy scored in 8th minute. But in the Bundesliga, Borussia is only second. Two points behind Bayern München. Again. And in the Champions League, they reached the semi-finals where Manchester City were better. 4-1 on aggregate. And it was a great season from Marco Royce with 25 goals and 17 assists. And with 12 assists, he was a top assister in the Bundesliga. And again, not winning a serious major trophy cost us two more players. Karim Adeyemi and Pepelo decided to join Bayer Leverkusen for free in the summer transfer window. It is the 2030 World Cup year and Marco Royce is one one of the highest rated players in this German squad. They win their group with 7 points, with win against Argentina, draw with Italy and win against Iceland. The round of 16, Germany beat United States 3-1, Royce with a goal. They won against Argentina in the quarterfinals, but unfortunately 2-1 loss to the Spain in the semi-finals. And not even the bronze medals for Germany, as France won the third place match. Royce is already 90 rated, won his second trophy with Borussia Dortmund 
Dortmund. But this year, we are going to do a big rebuild in Borussia Dortmund. Actually, Bord gave us 93 million euros for this season. With that money, we signed Pape Matarsar from Milan for 25 million euros. Brian Mbuemo as a backup right winger for 12 million euros. Nico Gonzalez as a backup for CDM position for 20 million euros. At the main position that we need to focus on updating is the striker. Because Josefa Mukoko is either injured or not delivering at all. And we got a plan. We got a direct swap deal with München Gladbach. We gave Mukoko and got Ranos. If you remember, Royce and Ranos had a deadly partnership in Hansa Rostock and München Gladbach. Ranos even was a top scorer in the Bundesliga a couple of seasons ago. Let's hope this signing will solve all our problems in attack. This is proving to be a most difficult challenge. This time Bayer Leverkusen won the league over us after selling two of our best players. We lost the German Super Cup to Bayern Munich in the beginning of the season. No German Cup for us as well. And we were kicked out from the Champions League in the round of 16 from the PSG. Ranos had 28 goals in the Bundesliga when Royce was the top assister of the league with 18 assists. Marco Royce is one of the best players in the game definitely and we got trophyless season with Dortmund but I think we can trust this project and one more signing in the midfield and we can be fighting for all trophies and I think that we found perfect option. Luis Carrasco Uruguayan center midfielder I think he is pregen of Fede Valverde he has same positions, good overall and massive potential. Anyways we signed Luis Carrasco from Milan for 60 million euros and this season we are going to put our trust on the prospects from the academy. That's why we are going to recall from their loan spells Jeremy Fournier, Niels Vogts and Milo Peters. There will be Phil in the bench and waiting for their moment to shine. We finally won the Bundesliga after so many failed attempts. And we also got German Cup. We are in the verge of the treble because we made it to the Champions League final and we are facing Paris Saint-Germain. In the first half this spike of a brilliance from Royce happened. Marco Royce is with the ball, tries his luck from the distance distance and scores! But then unfortunately PSG scored twice to win this Champions League trophy. But in real life, Borussia Dortmund won against PSG and they are in the Champions League final. And I wish they can win that game. It will be the last game for Marco Reus in the yellow black shirt. And that can be a fairy tale ending. But for now, Ronos has got himself 33 goals and 3 assists, 25 and 29 from Marco Reus, more than 1 goal contribution per game and the missing puzzle Luis Carrasco with 15 goals and 23 assists who actually was the top assister in the Bundesliga. Sadly Germany lost in the semi-finals of Euros 2032. Marco Reus had a remarkable season. He is coming close to the Ballon d'Or territory but to win it we need to win the Champions League first. So let's do it. We won the Bundesliga second consecutive season. We won the Super Cup on penalties against Bayern München as well as German Cup 3-1 against Schalke. Domestic treble is done but the most important part is the Champions League where we were second in the group, knocked out PSG this time 6-3 in the round of 16, then we beat Juventus 2-1, eliminated another Italian team Napoli and actually we did it! We won the Champions League with Borussia Dortmund, another Italian team is beaten, 3-2 in the finals against Inter. And in terms of individual performances, Ranos has got himself 40 goals and 9 assists, 28 and 23 from Marco Reus, again more than one contribution per game and the great season again from Luis Carrasco. Marco Reus also won top assist race in the Bundesliga, third time in his career. He also won the Ballon d'Or as a result of that fantastic season from Marco Reus and Borussia Dortmund. In these 10 seasons, Marco Reus has got himself 8 major trophies, 5 individual prizes including the Ballon d'Or and 4 times top assister in the Bundesliga, 161 scored goals and 165 given assists, the ultimate playmaker. 